The search bar in Microsoft Teams is more than it appears. When you click inside the search bar, notice it tells you you can look for messages, files, and more, or type forward slash for a list of commands. So we, let's go ahead and just go through some of those, and then we'll talk about commands at the end here. But also look below this lesson, and there's a, a handout to help you out with some of these. But first, let's just look for a file that has something to do with sales. So I type in sales, and then I can filter to messages, people, or files. So naturally, knowing what I'm looking for, I say files. And then I can see, oh, okay, there's a channel in US sales called Sales West where I'd find some files, right? Because every channel has a files tab or a little bit further down, specific files. I see Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and maybe I find what I'm looking for and open it up right away. Maybe I don't find what I'm looking for and I wanna use the filter and say, oh, well, you know what? I know that sales file I'm looking for is part of the sales and marketing team, and then filter. Now, maybe I find it a little bit quicker this way. Now, in addition to looking for files, I might want to look for people. So I can just switch over there and see we have three people who uh, matched on the word sales. Or maybe it was a message, and I can look and see anybody who sent me a message um, or a conversation I was involved in that dealt with sales. All right, so now let's look for um, a command. And um, to do that, all you have to do is hit the forward slash on your keyboard, and it tells you everything that's available here. Now, there is a keyboard shortcut if you want to remember that. If you're a shortcut person, it's control forward slash in the desktop version. And then that brings up that list as well. And the nice thing about that is you could be just clicking around anywhere else, such as calendar. You're not even clicking in the search bar. You just do control forward slash. It takes you to the search bar. So it just saves you a tiny bit of time, but that adds up, right? So we can see from here, we can just click a command if we want to, or we can type the command. So at first you might want to click as you get more familiar and read what these are. But one of my favorites that I just type a lot is pop. So forward slash and then pop and then I hit enter and then I choose who do I want to have a pop out chat with. So I might choose Diego, right? And then I've got a new window to chat with Diego while I'm moving from Teams to Calendar and I can always have my chat with Diego off to the side or maybe I split my window so that I can see them side by side. Okay, so that's one of my personal favorites, but there's a whole bunch and you can see what they are there for yourself. And again, be sure to check that handout down below.